Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Stuff. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler review of episode five for season two of The Boys on Amazon Prime Video. And, um, mm, 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 mm. all I can say is, Homelander, I am disappointed in you. Extremely disappointed. Why are you not disappointed, man? Well, for his character in this episode, it was uncharacteristic of him, especially at the end. I guess, but... Yeah. I mean, most of the episode, yes, that was his standard characteristic moments. But at the end, he really goes and falls for Stormfront, really. <laughs> like, really. That you was a weird were... scene in itself. But... <laughs> yeah, that whole scene. We, we're going to highlight that scene a little bit later, but... The whole show, basically for this episode, again, centered around Homelander, for the most part, about a leaked video of him supposedly trying to kill a suit terrorist overseas, but uses the layers of being lazy, and it goes straight through him and kills also a villager that he was meant to protect. And it went viral, and now everybody's angry and wants nothing to do with him. And of course, you know, the corporation tells him to wait for them to come up with a proper plan. They have a press conference and he shows up after being told not to. And basically messes it all up. I got it. Bro, really, I thought he mowed all those people down. Yo, I was too. I was about to be like. Oh. Yo, I was oh, like, yo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, yo, there goes his whole career. Like, like not only will he be a villain at that point. Um... All superheroes would have been that. Oh, exactly. At all risk. superheroes would be a villain at that point. And that would have been, honestly, that would have had been a great storyline to go off of. Yeah. But they obviously have taken it into a different direction. But uh, that would have been crazy. Mm hmm. But we also do find out more about Stormfront. We now know that she knows that Starlight knows who she really is mm -hmm. and what she's done in the past. Which is weird though, because she didn't feel seem phased or scared that Starlight knew. Yeah. If anything, she wanted to use that to her advantage, which is going to be interesting to see what she happens also with does her. know that Starlight leaked the yeah, about the V the, about compound, compound V. v. Um, we also find out why uh, his name Butcher, right? Yep. Why he likes Hubie so much? Because he reminds him of his younger brother. Mm -hmm. Which is very interesting to say the least. Yeah, and we got to see uh, Butcher's uh, family. A little bit of his family. It was his aunt, right? Uh, I believe aunt or grandmother. I think and, it was his aunt. Until um, Black Noir showed up. Had to ruin everything. But man, mm -mm -mm. I don't know how they're going to ever stop Black Noir, ever. Yeah. How, how do you kill him? You kill him the same way you killed, what you call him? You're going to have to blow him to bits, if you ask me. They tried. No, from the inside. Yeah, they're going to have to do the same thing they did mm -hmm. to the invisible guy. But we do see uh, there's some kind of uh, agreement to keep Black Noir from killing them. We just have to wait and see whether or not that agreement gets fulfilled, which I hope it does not. Mm -hmm. Hiding and squashing the evidence against Homelander and the rest of the groups. But all in all, this episode was more so tamed. Compared to most of the season so far, yeah, and was, compared to season one, it was a storytelling episode. Yeah, it, it was some meat for everyone, except for the end, where we have Homelander and uh, Stormfront fighting and having sex at the same time. Reminded me kind of of uh, what was that movie with Angela Jolie and uh, Brad Pitt? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes. It reminded me of that and my uh, super ex girlfriend. But yeah, that was weird. Yeah, like first it starts off with her telling him to laser her breast. And he starts to do it and then sees her in pain and stops. She's telling him don't stop. Like it's turning her on. I'm like, okay, what weird. do we step into here now? Weird, weird, very, very weird. And then they go back to kissing. Then she slams him against the wall. They go back to kissing. He slams her. They slam each other again. Then they float Did in the air. Did somebody punch somebody or something like yeah, that? Yeah, they was punching each other too. 
they're floating in the air with her just riding on top of him. I'm like, okay, so we're going here now. Okay. Thanks a lot, Seth Rogen. It was weird. This is a wild scene here. And then the chandelier just drops. And then the episode cuts off at that point. So, I'm curious to see whether or not this is Homelander playing her or she's playing, using him. Mm -hmm. Because one of them has to be using the other at this point to get something out of the other. But, I'm still waiting to see. Is she made the same exact way as Homelander or is she made with Compound V? Like everybody else. Because she appears to be stronger than the most of them. That's also true. Very true. And one other thing. I'm not feeling the whole recording the movie of their uh, origin story. While all this is going on. It seems weird. It does. It does seem weird simply for the fact that like there's so much stuff going on with the company. The, the Vought. And they, they're just basically like shooting this movie. Who, the only person who really cares about shooting a movie is Homelander. Mm -hmm. Everybody else really don't want to be there. Yep. But, I mean, hey, they have quote-unquote contract obligations. I mean, contracts ain't nothing. It's Homelander. That's their afraid of it. That's the only yeah, because thing. Yeah, because he, the thing that he's doing is with Maeve. Oh, he's man. basically getting her trapped and not allowing her to just live her life. Yep. But at the same time, outing her as being a lesbian. Well, she's not technically a lesbian. Well, she's though, bisexual. Right? But he's trying to drive that lesbian that, that, that she's a lesbian, yeah. which is and weak. It's so weak. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it only to punish her because she quote unquote lied about it to him. But I'm like, you gave her no choice, honestly. To me, her and um, Starlight are the only moral compass superheroes. Well, see, I say Maeve is on the cusp of it because season one is unforgivable either way because she. Didn't want to go along with crashing the plane, but then she still wanted to. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, yeah, you could say she was forced by Homelander, but she still did it anyway. Mm -hmm. I was saying, but I got a feeling that the end of at the end of it all, her Starlight and um our oust of the seven is going to probably join forces to um try to stop Stormfront and. Put it into uh, this whole compound V problem. Who knows? But what do you think will happen towards the end of this season? Do you think they do try to uh, put it in a home front in a, I'm sorry, star front in a Homelander? No, maybe, yes. Hopefully, they need to go. Yeah, they both do because uh, we can't have racist any self-centered egos hanging around but let us know what you guys think in the comments below and until next time